foremost. I want to give a big shout out and big thanks to all the veterans who are present with us today. Do me a favor, everybody. Let's give a big hand to our veterans, those who serve, those who continue to serve, and as we know, those who make that ultimate sacrifice. For the premiums that we enjoy here today, we say thank you so much. My name is Curtis Wilson. I am from ABC. Good morning, Columbia. I'm also from the Big DM. I'm also in Richmond County. You know, we're going to be here again, let me tell you all. But I got to give big, big, big thanks to, uh, of course, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me to do the that I do. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. We have the clouds, but you know what? We have the spirit. And we know no matter what, we are not put in the situation that some of our military members have been put into. So therefore, us being out here today, piece of cake. Amen? We're going to get things started. And first of all, I want to welcome our mayor of our fair city of Columbia, South Carolina. You know what? Hang on a second, mayor. You don't mind waiting just a moment. You know, you get ready to retire out as mayor. We want to hold you just a little bit longer, if that's okay. Thank you so much. Right now, what I'd like to do is do an invocation. Then after the invocation, we'll have the singing of the national anthem. That's going to be brought to you by Mr. Jimmy Townsend, Army National Guard. So first, please, bow your heads in prayer. Dear Lord, today, we honor our veterans. Worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect our country. We pray that you bless them for their unselfish service and the continual struggle to preserve our freedom, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Thank you all in attendance and bless them as we enjoy this 43rd annual Veterans Day Parade put on by our fair city, our great city of Columbia, South Carolina. Amen. Great hearts, true faith, 
and ready to pass. Men who the lust of office does not kill it. Men who the spoils of office cannot buy. Men who possess opinions and a will. Men who have honor. Men who will not lie. Men who stand before a demagogue and damn his treacherous fighters by winking. Tall men. Sun crowned. Who live above the fog in public duty and in private thinking. Who are the rabble with their thumb worn creeds, the large professions and the little deeds, mingling with self strife, free reign, low wipes, beasts. World rules the land and building justice sleeps. This is a dated text. It also applies to women. And I would say this, and I live, I have the pleasure, the privilege of living in the greatest country in the history of the world because of the sacrifices of men and women who wear our uniform and carry our banner in foreign lands and domestic as well, and provide the very blanket of freedom that we seek under every single day. Men and women of the United States military, we salute you. This is a special. This is luxury. This is proud to be the home of Fort Jackson. It is the my, my true honor to serve as your man for his last 20 years. There's still a lot of work to do. And whether as mayor of the city or as private citizens, the evening, I pledge you our continued support, love, and honor on behalf of this. Great to see you. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you. Definitely not a fair mayor, but a great mayor. Let's give another big hand. Mayor Steve Benjamin. Parade will be getting started shortly, and I got to remind you, folks, please do not cross back and forth when the parade gets started. So make sure you're in your great spot to catch a great parade as we get ready. And of course, we'll have some music accompaniment until the parade gets going. Well, DJ went to the restaurant. Here we go. <laughs> we have so many folks in attendance. You know what I do. I like to find out who we have going on. I know we have some students. We have folks from all over. Anybody from out of town? Anybody from out of town? Out of town, where's it? Where's it? Where you from? Where you from? Well, I'm here in South Carolina. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> She's on great work. She's on great work. Got that. All right, let's see. Military folks. Where's my military folks at? Military folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed you. Okay, I'll come back. Let me come back. Let me come back. Let me come back. I know we got some over there, too. Go ahead, sir. Where? I can't go too far with this mic, please. Where you at? Let's see if this one will work. It sounds better, right? 
make my voice sound deeper. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm coming. I got to make sure I beat the parade, though. What not? How's everybody doing over here? You good? Make some noise. Outstanding. Who do you have? Anybody have any shouts to give to veterans? Anybody want to give big shouts? Anybody? Big shouts. Anybody want to give some shouts? Good. How you doing? How you doing? Hello. Women veteran you got on your hat. <laughs> yes. Tell me about your career. Tell me about what you did in the military. Uh, Korea three times. Korea three times. Wow. Army? Army. What was your mess? What did you do? I was a drill sergeant, and I worked with the officer's record. Drill sergeant? Come on, let me see if you could drill me. Drill me, girl. Come on. Let's see what you got. Come on. Make me do some facing movements. Come on. You got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on. Give her a hand. Give her a hand as she comes forth. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Come on, drill sergeant. Okay, sit there and do it. Tell me. Attention, left face, right face, about face, parade rest. I still got it, y'all. You need me? What the hook? Anybody got any shouts? Any shouts? Any veteran shouts? You want to give some veteran shouts? Okay, where, where, where? Right here. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Anthony Washington. I served in the United States Air Force, and I'd like to proudly uh, say thanks to all the veterans, men and women that served this great country. Huh. Huh. All right, let me get down on this thing down here real quick. Everybody okay over here? Everybody's good? All right, all right. Got some good seats. What's up, Chris Kringle? My man. How y'all doing? Good to see you. All right, we're down here. Where you at? Where you at? Who had this? Here we go. Hey, sugar, how are you? How you doing, Curtis? Oh, it's good to see you. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. She's just happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, down here. What do we got? What do we have? Well, you know what? Cowboys doing. I like you. You got your mask. Your cowboys mask on on yours. Good to see you. Shout out to my daughter, Major Tamara Young, AC4 graduate, West Point graduate. Just became a major last year in the United States Army. Go Army, D Navy! <laughs> no more coffee. No more coffee. Anybody else? Any other shouts? Any shouts down this way? Oh, it's so cute. All right, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for your service. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Parade's getting underway, so I need to make my way back. Glad that you were all here with us, even up there in the parking deck. Good to see you guys up there, too, for sure. Love that sweater, red, white, and blue. Look so cute. What's up, sir? How are you? Nice and comfy. You good? Good to see you, sir.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the kickoff to the 43rd annual Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by the City of Columbia. And of course, big shouts to Columbia Parks Recreation, put this thing on for the, uh, let me see, Kim has been doing it now, what, 14 years? And I've been your MC for the past 14 as well. First, we will see the South Carolina National Guard, United States Army General, Van McCarthy, serves as the 29th Adjutant General for South Carolina. Now, in this role, he is the head of the South Carolina Military Department, made up of the South Carolina Air and Army National Guard, South Carolina Emergency Management Division, State Guard, and Youth Challenge Program. He's going to be riding in the vehicle driven by members of the 132nd Military Policy Company. South Carolina Youth Challenge Program, by the way, has provided a color guard for this detail. South Carolina Army National Guard has also provided a striker from the 108th Chemical Company, an M109 Paladin with a self-propelled howitzer from the 1st of the 178th Field Artillery Battalion an M2A2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle from the 4th of the 118th Combined Arms Battalion, and a Mine Resistance Ambush Protected Vehicle from the 122nd Engineer Battalion. This is your Grand Marshal of the Parade, United States Army Major General Van McCarthy. Major General McCarthy says, it does not rain on the military, it rains around the military. Just to recap, he serves as the 29th Adjutant General for South Carolina, and in his role, he is the head of South Carolina Military Department, 
which is made up of South Carolina Air and Army National Guard, South Carolina Emergency Management Division, as well as the State Guard and Youth Challenge Program. Following behind them is the South Carolina Youth Challenge Academy. South Carolina Youth Academy Challenge, what they do is take these young minds, they mold them, they shape them, and they give them hope for the future, which then in turn gives us hope for our youth. So we thank you for what you do. Youth Challenge Academy also works very closely with the Richmond County Sheriff's Department and youth there as well. Helps to get youngsters back on that right track, making right decisions. Gotta love the cadence as well. Helps keep the soldiers on track and also helps them pass the time as they march in the distance as well. So singing these cadence, they can march miles and miles without realizing it. South Carolina Army. National Guard provided a striker from the 108th Chemical Company, as well as the M109 Paladin with a self-propelled howitzer. That's from the first of the 178th Field Artillery Battalion. And behind that, the M2A2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle, which is from the fourth of the 118th Combined Arms Battalion. And bringing up the rear will be the Mine Resistance Ambush Protected Vehicle from the 122nd Engineer Battalion. Next we have the employer's support for Guard and Reserve. The ESGR, they marching behind the South Carolina National Guard with the ESGR banner. We say thank you for what you do. Proud to be the great American defense community. And also want to give big shouts to the Columbia Chamber. We thank you so much for leading the way and always being a great partner. 
of course, with the ESGR and military veterans and families. Thank you so much, Greater Chamber and the ESGR. You got it, Susan. Ladies and gentlemen, leading Fort Jackson are Commander and Senior Enlisted Advisor of the United States Army Training Center for Fort Jackson, Brigadier General Patrick R. Michaelis. Native of the great state of Texas and, Grand and Command Sergeant Major, Filson Tavernier of Queens, New York. Fort Jackson is the largest basic training installation in the Army, training over 45,000 basic combat training soldiers annually. Also marching, Fort Jackson's commander and post command sergeant major, Fort Jackson's garrison commander, Colonel Ryan M. Hansen, and command sergeant major Rigoberto C. Duran. Following Fort Jackson Command Teams, Color Guard from the 165th Infantry Brigade. And playing for you, 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 4, George Bauer. The band's history dates back to 1989 and has been an active in Fort Jackson since 1956. Its mission is to remain and maintain morale and esprit de corps, soldiers and citizens. Our other soldiers marching, 369th Adjutant General Battalion. 369th is led by Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Jepson from York, Pennsylvania, Command Sergeant Major Willie Yarbrough from Augusta, Georgia. Bravo Company is commanded by Captain Moralisa Calderon from Kissimmee, Florida. And in the rear of the formation is the first sergeant, first sergeant David Bazzi from Harrison, Pennsylvania. Charlie Company is commanded by Captain Carlos Cuervo from Miami, Florida. And in the rear of the formation is the first sergeant, first sergeant Lavelle McKinney from Akron, Ohio. Delta Company is commanded by Captain Cecily Simmons from Augusta, Georgia. And in the rear of the formation is the first sergeant, First Sergeant Delilah Quintero from Staten Island, New York. And then you have Echo Company, commanded by Captain Akia Housie from Houston, Texas. And in the rear of the Four Nation is the First Sergeant, First Sergeant Demas Fonseca from La Habra, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Fort Jackson, victory starts here. Oh, I'm sure this takes a lot of us back to the days of being that new recruit into the military. And you always heard when you went to the mess hall, taste it on the way out. Drill sergeants, of course, also shaping the young minds, getting him into the mind frame of working together as a team, being one. Drive on, soldiers, drive on. These are the brave young men and women who are serving our country today. And we say thank you. And as you know, they come from all walks of life, from all the corners of these United States. But when they put that uniform on, it's unified together as one. We also have the 81st Readiness Command, United States Army Reserve, Fort Jackson. 81st Readiness Division 
is an Army Reserve unit headquartered in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Supports over 50,000 soldiers, civilians, family members, and 300 facilities. The 81st provides essential services, customer care, base operations, administrative support, and vehicle and equipment maintenance throughout a nine-state southeast re region of the U.S., Puerto Rico, and Virgin Islands. The 81st was founded in 1917 at Camp Jackson, South Carolina. Delta Company showing out. Ladies and gentlemen, approaching the reviewing stand, Fort Jackson Schools, the Department of Defense Education Activity, DODEA, is the Department of Defense Agency charged with providing high quality education for military connected students, both domestically and overseas. DODEA operates 166 schools locally in 11 countries, two territories, and seven states that serve over 72,000 students. DODEA is a school system with an important mission to educate, engage, empower military connected students to succeed in a dynamic world. As a DODEA community, we take great pride in our history of fulfilling this mission. Fort Jackson Community Schools, C.C. Pinkney, Pierce Terrace Elementary students. Thank you so much. Next, we have our Fort Jackson Falcons 80 football team, military youth football team 2021, Pop Warner 80 state champions. Let's give them a hand. State champs. Those little fellas right there and ladies, they're saying, one day I want to play for the Cowboys. I know it. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Richland County Post, number six, American Legion. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. AC Flora High School Falcon Regiment. Band Director Kevin Pinner. AC Flora Falcons. And of course, your AC Flora High School, J-R-O-T-C. It's a unit established in 1993, National Honor Unit with distinction since its existence, led by Commandment Team, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel McKenna, Marsh, and Cadet Command Sergeant Major, Jose Brogan. Thank you so much.
They are followed by the Doolittle Raiders crash truck. Nineteen forty one four Doolittle Raiders crash truck issued to Columbia Army Air Base, nineteen forty one to nineteen forty five. And your mayor takes his seat prominently inside the Doolittle Raiders crash truck. Followed by Columbia Police Department, led by Chief Skip Holbrook and his police officers made up of Veterans from all the branches, thank you so much. And the new Casey Police Chief. Chief Cowan. And making their way slowly down the street. Though they get to those fires quick, it is the Columbia Richland Fire Department. Joined by our candidates in the upcoming election, Mayor's Races Tuesday. You have candidate up front. That is Tamika Isaac Devine. And the other candidate. Daniel Rickerman, the other candidate for mayor. And the candidate they're walking with as well. The candidate who wishes he can grow a little more hair. That is Chief Aubrey Jenkins. Orby Jenkins. Will Brennan and Alice Terracio as well. Thank you so much. Columbia Richland Fire Department. First responders, always doing and answering that call of duty. They are followed by the Richland County Sheriff's Department, led by the Richland County Sheriff's Department Honor Guard. Richland County Sheriff's Department boasts 800 deputies, which makes it one of the largest Sheriff's Department. Of course, the Richland County Sheriff's Department has the National Sheriff of the Year, Sheriff Leon Lott, and also South Carolina Sheriff of the Year, Sheriff Leon Lott. Doing some great things, sir. Of course, we got our members made up of all the branches of the military forces. It is your Richland County Sheriff's Department. Behind them, 
It is our community action team, our cat team, in those pretty vehicles, the Camaros. Our traffic unit, as well as our bicycle patrol, and our mojo, right, Richland County Sheriff's Department Special Response Team, which is also known as SWAT in other agencies. They handle the big jobs. Kim, Kim just said I, I said a lot more enthusiasm when I said Richland County than I did with the city police. Hang on a second. City police, great job, guys. Richland County in the house. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> Chief James, good to see you, sir. Richland County Coroner's Office, available to serve you following the death of your loved one. Richland County Coroner's Office also engages in events to promote community awareness of the various ways we are here to serve you. Nada Rutherford Coroner, Richland County Coroner's Office. Trier High School, Blue Devils Marching Band would like to thank the Veterans Marching Band. They also placed first in Walterboro Classic with the best color guard and percussion performed at Disney World University, Universal. They also placed top 10 SCBDA 2017-2019 state champion. This, the Blue Devils and the Blue Devils Dreer High School Navy ROTC, established September 1993. Commanding officer of the Blue Devil Unit, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Smith. Navy JROTC program earned the limited achievement as one of the best units in Area 6. And now we come to the department. Disabled Veterans, Woodrow Wilson Chapter 4. Chapter 4 Commander Loretta Belton and Unit Commander Jackie Gray. Chapter 4 was established November 2nd, 1931. It has a total of 1,147 members. It is the second oldest DAV chapter in South Carolina. 90-year-old chapter has one purpose, support the veterans and their families. Disabled veterans.
Continuing on with the TAV. Hey, Miss Jackie. She said, you better say my name. Okay. There it is, Miss Jackie. Fulfilling the promises, DAV. Spring Valley High School, JROTC. <laughs> Approaching the reviewing stand. American Legion, Congaree Post 90. 1948, Willis Pickup, a Vietnam vet, with Post 90 Vietnam and Desert Storm veterans. Post 90 and District 1 Chaplain, a Vietnam veteran. Ninety second Buffalo Chapter. Major General, did you want to come across? Come on, Major General. Tell Grand Marshal, he's got to make his way over to his seat. You got it. Disabled veterans. Chapter 90, check that, chapter 20, 92nd Buffalo, West Columbia, has a strong connection to the 92nd Division, Buffalo, that served in Italy during World War II. Their chapter carries on the tradition of service to veterans of this country. And the USO of South Carolina, strengthening America's military family, the members keeping them connected to family, home, and country from the moment they joined throughout their assignments and deployment and their transition back to their communities. USO, always being by their side. And the Veterans Benefits Administration. Columbia Regional Office. US Department of Veterans Affairs Regional Benefits Office for South Carolina veterans and their families. The VA Regional Benefits Office is led by Executive Director, Leanne. The Columbia VA Regional Benefits Office is comprised of five businesses lines. Check that, five business lines with a staffing level of over 800 employees. Department of Veterans Affairs, Columbia Regional Office. Thank you for what you do for our veterans and their families. Ladies and gentlemen, military vehicles of South Carolina will be approaching.
the military vehicles of South Carolina is a federal 501c3 nonprofit corporation. We thank all the veterans for their service and sacrifices. Their mission is to educate the public with the vehicles and equipment and displays. God bless the USA. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 305. Check that, that's 303. My glasses deceived me. Let me take them off so I can see better. Follow behind, it will be the military vehicles of South Carolina. Of course, they'd love to thank all the veterans for their service and sacrifices. And what their mission is, is to educate the public with their vehicles and also their equipment and displays. Military vehicle collectors of South Carolina. Catch them online at the mvcsc.com. I remember riding the deuce and a half so many times. Thank you. We thank you veterans, Vietnam veterans, for your service. Thank you. Got our canines, war dogs. Appreciate you. Thank you. Military vehicle collectors of South Carolina. Military Timeline Impressions, MTI. Military Timeline Impressions, a dedicated group of local living historians who portray the U.S. soldier from 1776 to the present while wearing or displaying the authentic uniforms, weapons, and equipment of the men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 303. American Heritage Foundation. Fully restored military vehicles from World War II through the Vietnam. Fully restored military vehicles from World War II through Vietnam. Corporal Marion W. Sheely, World War II veteran, United States Third Army.
1942, World War II half-track, American Heritage Foundation. Fully restored vehicles from World War II to the present. Lieutenant General Gary L. Parks, United States Marine Corps, retired. Still looking sharp in that uniform, sir. Still looking sharp in that uniform. And the Comet, our Purple Heart bus, is a fan favorite. It depicts a few images of our beloved veterans, past and present. It is the Comet, Purple Heart bus. We got a few Purple Heart recipients inside that bus for the ride. And they are followed by Purple Heart recipients in these vehicles that follow behind as well. Military Order, Purple Heart, Combat Wounded, Chapter 402. Ladies and gentlemen, the Charles P. Murray Jr. Memorial Chapter 402. Vehicles with Purple Heart placards displayed. City bus wrapped in the Purple Heart Patriots pictures. Hey, sugar. South Carolina, American Legion Auxiliary. Chapter. I heard you. This is the Lugoff Elgin High School JROTC, commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Alexandra Matthews. The Demon Battalion hails from Lugoff, South Carolina, representing the Kershaw County School District. Thirty-six feet by forty feet, United States American flag. Thank you so much. Next, we have the Palmetto chapter of the Gold Star Wives of America Incorporated. Congressionally chartered nonprofit service organization that provides assistance and friendship to those who have lost their spouse to a military related cause of death. It is the Palmetto chapter of the Gold Star Wives of America Incorporated. Approaching the reviewing stand, C.A. Johnson, Air Force, JROTC. It is the oldest JROTC unit in the district, 
one previous instructor, Colonel Watson, first African American, SR-71 air crew, has won Distinguished Unit Award multiple years. Corps Commander is Cadet Naya Mosley, C.A. Johnson, Air Force, JROTC. Look at the position. Congressman Joe Wilson, honored husband of Roxanne, proud son of World War II Flying Tiger, grateful father of four sons who have served in the military overseas, a 31-year veteran of the Army Reserve and South Carolina Army National Guard, Congressman Joe Wilson. Followed by VFW Pulse 4262. VFW Pulse 4262 Auxiliary Past Presidents. They're going to be in the Corvettes. The comrades, of course, are making their way down. VFW Pulse. 42-62. He says they are the greatest. What, what he said? He said at what? He said at what? He said that, him. VFW Pulse 4262, all in the lovely Corvettes. In all different colors. This one almost looks like the Batmobile, right? That's nice. How you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me. License and registration. Oh, this vehicle needs to be repossessed. Leave the keys, park it right over here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, Debo in there. Absolutely. Well, we have a minute with all of these Corvettes passing through. Chief Jenkins, Chief Jenkins, Sheriff Lott, appreciate you guys for doing what you do as first responders, taking care of the city and also the county. We appreciate you, sir. We, well, we appreciate you, what you're doing, too. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're glad to be here on Veterans Day. Absolutely. And, and Sheriff, and Sheriff Leon Lott, not only is he a sheriff, but you're also a commanding officer. Mention that. 
Yeah, but I want to thank everybody for being here. This is fantastic uh, turnout for everybody. I appreciate the people bringing their kids. It's good to see our young people out here waving flags. Absolutely, absolutely. BFW Pulse 4262 and the Corvettes. Approaching the reviewing stand, Westwood High School Army JROTC. The Red Hawk Battalion, command by Cadet Lieutenant Jacoby Williams and Cadet Command Sergeant Major Kamaya Whitmore. Westwood High School Army, JROTC, a leader in the classroom, on campus, and also in the community. Westwood High School Army, JROTC. The Marine Corps League. The Marine Corps League is a service organization made up of former and retired Marines. They're involved locally, right here, numerous community service projects, including Toys for Tots. If you'd like to assist, contact Dan Hoffman. Marine Corps League, followed by Irmo High School Air Force, JROTC. Program began back in 1972, named the Outstanding Unit for the last 28 years, led by Major Jason Huffman and Master Sergeant Mark Kroll. It is the Irmo High School Air Force, JROTC. WIS Television. As a part of the United for Veterans Initiative, the work throughout the year to support various veteran-related organizations in the community. You have your news team, your news staff, your news personalities. It is WIS TV. Rick Henry, what's up? Buddy? Who's going to win that game tonight? I don't know who's playing, I just said that. Dutch Fork High School, Air Force, JROTC. Commanded by Cadet Colonel Elena Ortega. Dutch Fork High School, JROTC Unit SC921 is among the best earning distinguished unit with honors for the past 15 years straight. Unit SC921 also actively participates in multiple community service events such as Sharing God's Love, Salvation Army, and Adopt a Highway. Dutch Fork. High School, Air Force, ROTC. Metal Base, United States, the Marine Veterans. It's led by Master Chief Jeff Muniz, Commander, Metal Base, affiliated with the United States Sub Sub Submarine Veterans Incorporated, USS VI, chartered in 2008, based in Columbia, Lexington counties. It is the Subvets. Brooklyn Casey High School Bearcat Battalion. Sorry for class, get back, get back in line. South Carolina Chapter 30, 173rd Airborne Brigade. Hey, hey. 
Ladies and gentlemen, approaching the reviewing is the South Carolina chapter, 30 Combat Airborne Unit of the renowned 173rd Airborne Brigade, the only unit to make a combat jump in Vietnam, and its members, Walt Cook, President, Airborne all the way. Dolores, we're going to let you play for the, the Panthers. They need you. <laughs> Transitions, the journey home begins here. We appreciate you, Transitions taking care of those who, of course, are in need. We got you covered. Transitions, thank you guys and gals. Appreciate you. Hey there, sugar. Lower Richland High School. It is the junior ROTC. Reserve Officers Training Program, led by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Alan Day. Team Red, White, and Blue. Their mission is to enrich veterans' lives, providing opportunities for veterans and the community to connect through physical and social activities. It is Team Red, White, and Blue. Columbia's Breeze, 97.9 FM at 1170 AM. Midland's newest alternative gospel radio station, Law and Grant, I see you. Columbia's Praise, 97.9 FM, supporting our troops, remembering the ones of yesterday as well. United States Marine Corps. Sweet Star 1234, cloud.com. Cumulus Columbia, B106.7, today's hits and yesterday's favorite, 98.5 WOMG, Columbia's classic hits, and KISS 103.1, Columbia's best variety of R&B. Well, they're going to hear me say that and say, you want a job? Come work for us. What up, Kiss? What up, y'all? Johnny and Chris in that vehicle. Get out and walk. Burn some calories. <laughs> American Heritage Girls, SC216 in Trail Life. AHG is dedicated to building women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. Life's Trail's mission to guide generations of courageous young men and women with honor, God, and led with integrity and service to others experience outdoor adventures. She's got candy. She's got candy. I got candy. I got candy. Show bands of Richland One. The band you see today is comprised of students from three Capital City High School programs. The Columbia High School Band of Gold, 
the Marching Brigadier Band from Lower Richland High School, and the Eau Claire High School No Half Stepping Band, show bands of Richland One. Let's listen and see what they can do. Kim, let me see. Okay. Three high schools combined together. Band of Gold, Brigadier Band. And ain't no half stepping band. You know it's a parade when you hear those drums like that, right? Ernest Strowman. Boy, I tell you what, you see him coming and going everywhere in Columbia with that lime green on. Go ahead, you can do it. C.A. Johnson alone. Pack 100. Cub Scout Troop. Pack 100 Cub Scout Troop. This is Operation Thank You. Operation Thank You, founded in 2002 by National Guard Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Brian Bowman. It collected and distributed over one million thank you cards to service members, veterans, and also they visit hospitals too. Columbia High School Air Force Junior ROTC. It is the Capitals. Group Commander, Cadet Major, Kenneth Spann. The first to receive the FAA Remote Pilots Certification for Drones was Distinguished Unit Award from HQ AFROTC 2020. Instructors are Major Ray Hammond and Master Sergeant Jimmy Griffney. Columbia High School Air Force JROTC. Spalding Decon. Restoring property since 2005. It is SpaldingDecon.com. Richland Northeast Navy, JROTC. With 170 cadets strong, Richland Northeast JRTC is the top-ranked Navy JRTC program in all of North Carolina and South Carolina. Their mission is to create leaders of the 21st century and prepare cadets for life after high school. They are the two-time Color Guard State Champions. By instilling honor, courage, and commitment into every cadet, Richland Northeast JRTC has produced cadets that have earned hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships and acceptance into renowned colleges and military academies, such as Howard University, Morehouse, West Point, and the Naval Academy. They continue to operate such a premier and distinguished unit as a result of their illustrious motto to trust the process. Richard Northeast, JROTC. That's a powerful voice coming out of such a short young lady. But that's all right. I'm short too, so I know that feeling. American Legion Pulse 215, 
Commander Matthew Golden, Adjutant Steve Thomas, President Linda Cooper, Post of the Year, Commander of the Year, and Adjutant of the Year for the Department of South Carolina Legion. This is American Legion Post 250. Alabama Crimson Tide, roll tide. You better hold on tight with him driving. <laughs> President Linda Cooper, we see you. American Legion Post 215, I'll tell you what. They come in strength in numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, Eau Claire High School, Navy, JROTC. Established 1973.
DAV, Disabled Veterans, John W. Cruz, Jr., Chapter 13, Terry Seawright, and Unit, Mary Alice McGee, Chapter 13 is named after First Lieutenant John W. Cruz, World War II pilot, Chapter 13, represents the interests of veterans and their families. They provide free professional assistance to veterans and their families. This is the Disabled Veterans, John W. Cruz, Jr., Chapter 13. Native American veterans, dressed in the period outfits of the time. Big shouts to our Native Americans for joining the 43rd Veterans Day Parade. American Indian Center of South Carolina. Confederate soldier. South Carolina Combat Veterans Group. The commander is Tommy Oles, founder Larry Smalls, South Carolina Combat Veterans Group. Continuing on with the South Carolina Combat Veterans Group. South Carolina Combat Veterans Group Incorporated. And you're the guy in the float. Good to see y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, Psi Zeta Phi, Military Sorority Incorporated, provides sisterhood of service 
to all service women, active duty, retiree, and also veterans. It was founded October 1st, 2019 by Joy McClendon. Size Zeta Phi, Military Sorority Incorporated. Good old Joy McClendon over here. Rehoboth, Rehoboth, United Church. Don't be trying to correct me. <laughs> Veterans from Rehoboth, United Church. Thank you all so much. Pass around the plate for the building fund just for you. Midlands Media Group, 94.3 The Dude, plays flashbacks, new and country favorites. 93 The Dude, what's up, sir? It honors military with a weekly soldier salute to a different local military member. 94.3 The Dude is locally owned and operated along with the sister station, 93.1 The Lake. Charles Q. Williams Memorial, Chapter 34. Native son of South Carolina and a Medal of Honor recipient. Chapter 34 represents all U.S. Army, Green Berets, active duty, reserve, retired throughout South Carolina. Charles Q. Williams Memorial, Chapter 34. Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. Non-combat veterans comprised of full patch members, auxiliary members, support members. In order to be a full patch member, you must have served in the armed forces in a combat zone. Auxiliary members are spouses, widows or widows of full members. Support members with those with non Patriot Guard Riders making their way across. Patriot God Riders. Oh, 
You have your masons coming across. Sons of Solomon. Sons of Solomon. Masonic Lodge. And ladies and gentlemen, after all of the motorcycles, this moment of silence is brought to you by Thompson Funeral Home. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for attending the 43rd Annual Veterans Day Parade brought to you by the City of Columbia. We hope that you enjoyed. And remember, you see a veteran, thank them today. And we appreciate all who have served, are serving, and again, who have lost their lives in the battle. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Good night.